Guys, the year of 2023 has come to you. But today, let's look back at 2022 and find out what groundbreaking mods that hit 2022. I prepared useful content today, so please don't go out midway and watch the video until the end. First is Precision. Precision's attack collisions, weapon trails, static hit recoil, active ragdoll and hit implus features have definitely changed the landscape of Skyrim. Precision, which brought many innovative changes to Skyrim's battle environment, was by far the biggest shock to players. Recently, while updating to version 2.0, Precision is working hard to provide you with a stable environment. Please pay attention to Precision in 2023 as well. Second is MCO. MCO has once again dramatically upgraded your Skyrim as it has been reborn as MCO from SKYSA in 2022. While inheriting the existing innovative features of SKYSA, eliminating classification according to weapon types and unifying all types of animations according to DAR, many functions have been improved. It's also worth noting that 2023 is still worth noting, with the recent addition of MCO's capabilities through the MCO Weapon Art feature. Third is the Valhalla Combat Mod. Valhalla Combat brings changes to the way players combat to make better use of stamina. This stamina isn't just for the player. Observe the enemy's stamina, focus on the moment the enemy is tired or the moment the enemy attacks, and upgrade Skyrim's combat more dynamically through the execution function. Since then, the Valhalla mod has added innovative features and pursued stability at the same time. Arrow attacks and magic attacks can also be defended through time blocks, and recently, stamina recovery and commitment functions are added, and Valhalla mod is pursuing another change. So, keep an eye out for these Valhalla mod changes in 2023. Fourth is Immersive Equipment Displays. Immersive Equipment Displays arrive in early 2022 and are the first to shock Skyrim players. This mod made it possible to equip almost any object to any actor, and implemented all the elements of equipment that we wanted to add in the meantime. It was really amazing to implement all these features using only SKSC scripts without ESP. And that's not all. The ability to load the IED settings window on the game screen in real time and allow the player to modify the location or size of all equipment in real time is literally a revolution. Through this, many presets related to IEDs were produced, and through this, players can implement more unique equipment. If you're not using immersive equipment displays, take a look at the IED mod. You will surely be satisfied with the features of this innovative mod. Fifth is Scar. Scar has a patchy nature that encourages Skyrim actors to use MCO movesets more actively. However, this feature was absolutely necessary. This is because actors in the past have not been able to properly utilize the combo function of MCO moveset. Previously, actors only used one combo of the MCO moveset or performed a power attack. But through Scar, actors can now properly use the MCO moveset. Indeed, Scar has been very helpful in improving NPC AI for actors. Sixth is Elden Room. This mod also appeared in 2022, but at first, Elden Room had a strong personality to add skills from the Elden Ring game. However, Elden Room is a mod that has become more and more developed with the addition of a framework personality, such as the stagger of each NPC being created by the creator's amazing amount of work, and the animations being created for each weapon category. Recently, many more dynamic Elden Room skills have been added, 
and many of the Elden Room features are useful regardless of the Elden Ring game. Moreover, since the creators have a strong will to work, it is estimated that there will be many changes in 2023 as well. Seventh is True HUD HUD Editions. True HUD is a mod created by separately taking interface elements from True Directional Movement that appeared in 2021. The normal enemy and boss interfaces are divided, and the boss's health bar is displayed separately. In addition, it is a mod that appeared with many functions, such as outputting the shouting gauge and the soul jam gauge of each actor, so that the player can know various information about enemies. Eighth, the interface of the object that can be confirmed through the better third-person selection crosshair as output in 3D. It is a really innovative feature, and it is an amazing mod that allows you to play Skyrim more conveniently by adding a lot of really diverse and innovative features, such as the ability to root items while riding a horse. However, there are steady bug reports for recently released versions, and creators are working hard to solve these bugs. Please pay attention to better third-person selection in 2023 as well. The ninth is Dindalod 3. Although it has a strong update nature, it is because many mods can be additionally used through Dindalod 3. A typical example is Seasons of Skyrim. It adds a seasonal element to Skyrim, and this feature was amazing. It appeared around February 2022 and is a mod that has received a lot of attention from players because it adds four seasons to the world of Skyrim. Dindalod is a must-have program to upgrade Skyrim's landscape. So in 2023, you'll still have to keep an eye out for Dindalod. Lastly, the Detection Meter. Detection Meter allows you to check the information of nearby actors in 360 degrees while sneaking. It is a mod made up of the SKSE plugin, and Detection Meter was chosen because it is a mod loved by so many players because it enables Ubisoft-style gameplay in Stealth Mod. Here's a look at 10 groundbreaking mods hitting 2022 so far. Now, what groundbreaking mods are waiting for us in 2023? I am very excited. In any way, thank you very much for watching the video till the end. Setting subscription like notifications is very helpful for channel growth. Well, see you next time.